Okay, we're going to be setting up remote desktop for um, our client machines. Uh, we're on a server 2016 server. So we're going to want to go our group policy manager, admin tools, group policy manager. And then we'll want to create a new policy. I like to create mine at the top of the, the, uh, the hierarchy here. So we'll do create a new GPO, and we'll just name it rem, um, remote desktop settings. Okay. So from in here, we we'll want to go edit this policy. So this will be a computer policy. So this will be set for the computer, not the user. So we'll go into preferences. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, admin tools, our administrative template, uh, network, and then network connection, firewall, and then domain profile. And then within here, we'll see allow inbound remote desktop exceptions. So you want to right click on that, hit edit, and you click enable. Hit apply, okay. And then next, we'll want to go to administrative templates again, uh, Windows components. When uh, the remote desktop services, and then we will want to go to remote desktop session hosts. From in here, we'll go to the connections folder, and then we will see within here uh, allow users to connect remotely by using remote desktop services. We'll right click on that, go to edit, and then hit enable, and hit apply, and OK. Those are the only group policy settings you have to set. However, <clears throat> if we close out everything, go to remote desktop. And we try to remote to our computer that we're trying to get to. Obviously, we cannot remote to. So we'll want to do a GP update force. I will show you that. Now on my client machine, so what we'll do is we'll do a CMD. Right click on CMD and do run as administrator. Then we'll do a GP update space four slash force. And this will pull our new policy. So to check, make sure that it is available, we can do GP result for slash R. And we'll see the remote desktop settings is being applied to this computer. So now if we go back to our server and then we try to connect remotely, we're able to do so. So. Here's our remote desktop set connection from our server. One other thing I'd like to point out is uh, a little bit of the security of this. Come back to our server and we, well, hold on. So if we close out of our, our server here, so we're going to log off our server, our, our desktop computer we just remoted to, we're going to log off. But now what we're going to want to do is we're going to do remote desktop, back to it. We're going to log in as a different user other than one that's in the domain admin group. So we already created one called ALUser1. You will notice that the connection is being denied. Currently, you're not able to log in unless you're a domain administrator. If you would like to be able to make this user... Um, able to log in you can remote on or do it from the actual console of the computer if you go into manage then you go to users and local groups there's a group in here called remote desktop users 
you could add your group to it or we could just do uh, AL user one and that'll add it in there so now let's log off this computer again and then we'll do a web desktop connection back And now we're able to remove back on using that user. Now that user is not in the domain admin group, but what we've done is allowed it via the, the group on the actual local machine to be able to log on. I uh, hope this video has been useful, and uh, thank you for your time.